It's, it's sickening. It's sickening. We as residents, we're not ready to keep going through this. Lead, mold, broken doors, leaking ceiling, uh, rodents for the last, yes, about to be four years. I have been going through this. The D.C. Housing Authority admits there are 2,500 units that need urgent action and another 4,500 homes in critical condition as of January. Renetta O'Brien, though, isn't satisfied when DCHA does repair. I have video in my phone. They plastering it up while it's still leaking, dripping on him as he's trying to plaster it up. The next day, up until now, it's still leaking. It is. I saw when I got in. In January, the Housing Authority Board voted on a strategic plan to address funding for these problems by opening up the option to privatize. But Council Member Brianne Nadeau doesn't want to let that happen. She introduced a bill Tuesday to let the mayor's office take control of public housing. Right now, like in many other cities, it's an independent agency. Let's pass it. Let's get together and pass it because it'll change a lot. It will change a lot. Because I noticed when I have had some of the mayor's office, uh, you know, representatives come to me, and a lot has gotten done. As her perpetual puddle continues to pool, Renetta's determined not to let hope run dry. In Northeast D.C., Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.